Welcome back, it's the Clay Golem. We're in Foundry VTT again. Uh, we are continuing with, hopefully, in this video, finally completing Cragmore Castle, uh, part of the Fandelver and Below, the Shattered Obelisk Adventure series. Um, we've done everything else. We've played with walls. Um, I've not, uh, obviously, I'm doing these videos kind of back-to-back -back pretty quick. Uh, took a little break between this one and the previous one, um, basically to jump around the room to some Iron Maiden for a while, <laughs> just to uh, get away from the desk and do something a bit active. Um, I don't know why you need to know that. Don't know why I'm telling you that, but there we go. Um, yeah, so if you, uh, I asked a couple of questions in the previous one about the scale we're using on this um, and about tokens as well. Obviously, you haven't had a chance to r respond to that in any way, shape or form yet. So uh, we're just going to crack on. Okay, three rooms to do. 12, 13 and 14. I need to open my journal and make sure we're actually uh, updating stuff. So we need to start with room 12, the guard quarters. Let's get on with it. Um, so again, as always, we have the uh, the module in the other window, if I can manage to select everything. Um, so we can just crack on and get this done. Uh, it's not huge amounts to do in the next couple of rooms, um, but we are coming up to the grand finale. Right, four hobgoblins stand guard in this room. Right, straight away. Let's chuck our hobgoblins in here. Two. I'm putting them in the wrong room. <laughs> Three, four. Uh, and this is kind of what I was saying about the scale in the other room. Uh, this one's not too bad. But when you look at the four whole goblins squished in this room, it just looks a bit squishy. Does it matter? Probably not. Um, okay, so we've got four hobgoblins in the room. They keep watch from the arrow slit. So these guys are actually actively keeping watch. So any characters creeping around the outside of the castle are likely to be spotted. The hobgoblins are smart, tough, and loyal to King Grohl. Now, we haven't done King Grohl yet. Uh, weirdly enough, I have King Grohl already set up, so I can slap him in there. No. Did not want to do that. King Grohl, please. Thank you very much. Um, at the start of combat, one hobgoblin runs to warn the king in area C14. So if you weren't aware... The king's quarters is where the king is, and then returns two rounds later to join the fray. This area is once a parlour for the castle's original occupants, though its rotting furnishes were broken up with by the cragmores and used for firewood. That's it. Bosh. Job done. That's that area. It's basically a bundle. Um, <coughs> area 13, then. The Haunted Tower. Now, we need, uh, we need a little bit of description for this one. Uh, click Edit. before we put our thing in. So the door to this room is boarded up from the north side. Okay, so this is the one I said was locked. Uh, it takes a few rounds to remove the boards, um, which the characters should take as a warning that danger lies beyond. Um, arrow slits have been shuttered, leaving the room dark. So when we did the walls, we did indeed shutter these off to make sure that uh, players couldn't look in through those windows for a very good reason. Um, the box text assumes that the characters have dark vision or a light source. Well, again, I'm not worrying too much about light and dark in this castle. It's it's all good. So this is our description that we need um, when they come in. So the upper floors of this tower have collapsed to create a silo 30 feet high. The upper reaches of the room are lost in shadows. It's clear that this area hasn't been used for some time. Dust, rubble, broken glass cover the floor. And old work tables and shelves clutter the southern half of the room so yeah what's boarded up in here now what i always find it interesting is when players arrive here at that door there's always this conversation about is something been shut in to stop it escaping or has it been shut in to stop it from attacking uh, and they always have that conversation is it because there's something dangerous in there or is it because there's something to rescue in there Invariably, they open it to find out, <laughs> which is exactly what I want them to do. Um, okay, the Cragmores believe this tower is haunted, but they're wrong. The area is the lair of a grell. So, um, did we have a grell? We've got no grell. So, we go to the SRD, go to our monsters, we can find a grell. 
Hello. We're not. We've not got a growl. Okay. We need to. Uh, we need to create a growl. I was sure there was a growl, but there we go. Um, now, what I have got in the other window, of course, luckily, is I do have the combat stats and everything. So what I'm just doing quickly in the other window is, oh, 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 I haven't said that. I know what we can do. So, sorry. <laughs> just, got, just got a bit carried away there. Um, all right. So I'm just saving the image for the growl that we have. Um, I'm just going to stick it in there. That's fine. Sorry, really unexciting for you to watch me type in a different window. So we need to put a growl in. Let's do that first. Now, if you remember, did we actually have it installed? We had the 5e stat block importer. So when we go to our actors, oh, I should have just checked it from here, stupid boy. Um, at the bottom, we've got this import stat block. So from the module, I should be able to, fingers crossed, copy and paste that stat block in here and then hit import and we'll see what happens now i'm going to straight away i'm going to go and update our image i want to bring that up from of course i didn't put it into this folder which folders i put it in i chucked it there it is okay so i'm going to bring this one in get rid of that one from behind um get rid of that bring that over lovely if i get rid of those i might do the icon like that let's see what that looks like okay so we brought in the snap block. Now what I do want to do is just double check that that's correct. Of course, armor class of 12, 55 hit points. Um, that's all good. Uh, it's got a movement of 10 foot with a 30 foot uh, hover. Brilliant. That's boarding well. We should have perception and stealth. Good. Immunities, lightning. Excellent. Um, condition immunities blinded and prone it's got sensors of blind sight 60 foot which is good excellent languages growl challenge rating of three that's all correct proficiency bonus of two plus two that's good that's all fine we should have a 15 14 13 12 11 and 9 that's all perfect I, this importer stat block importer is so nice uh, we should have multi attack Brilliant. multi attacks there. We should have tentacles. That was tentacles, not anything else. Um, and this should be a weapon melee attack. Uh, let's actually edit that and just check that that's what it's going to do. Activation cost one action. Range of 10 foot. Yes, it's got a longer reach than a lot of things. That's all good. Um, our damage should be, uh, should be critical. That's fine. Damage should be 1d10. Uh, plus the modifier, which is plus two. That's good. And the target must succeed on a constitution saving throw um, of DC 11 or be poisoned. Now, is this automatically going to apply poison? Where do I see that? Not sure. I'll come back to that. But everything appears to be... Um, it doesn't matter what it is. Uh appears to be good uh what type of that's tentacles stop looking at tentacles <laughs> sorry <laughs> uh let's finish doing this bit um beak so we've got beak attack in there yep that's all good uh just quickly again just double check that those stats it's going to be 2d4 plus uh plus two yeah the mod the piercing yep that's all good that's fine Okay, so the only query we've got then is um, over the tentacles. Now, it does also say for the tentacles um, about grapple. So uh, I know this is a bit difficult for you to see. The poison target is paralyzed and it can repeat the saving throw at the end of each of its turns, sending the ending the effect on success. The target is also grappled, escape DC 15. So this is going to apply, if it hits, it's going to apply two different effects. It's going to attempt to apply poisoned if the constitution fa save is failed. And it's going to apply um, the paralyze as well. Um, or rather, it's going to apply uh, restrained because it's grappled. Okay, so we might have to have a little fiddle around to get that working. Um, not too worried about that at the moment because that's very, very easy to handle as the DM with just straight rolls. Okay. 
so I'm not too worried about that. Let's shove our Grell in here. It is a medium sized creature, so that's appropriate. I am going to hide it um, because I don't want the players automatically seeing it when the door open. It's going to be hovering around up near the ceiling and it's going to attack them with surprise if it can. Uh, when the Grell notices intruders in the lower portion of its tower, it silently drops from the shadows and attacks. There we go. That's exactly, even if it didn't say that, it's exactly how I'm going to have that Grell functioning. Uh, the Grell's nest in the upper part of the tower contains a battered wooden chest of the monster um, found in the wreckage of the room below. The chest can't be seen from the floor and it takes a successful... Uh, strength athletics check let's put that in them um, so we want a skill check based off the ability of strength if you don't spell it right it doesn't work uh, strength uh, and the skill is athle oh, athletics dc 15 uh, to climb up to the ledge on which it rests. The chest is unlocked and contains 90 Electrum pieces, 120 gold, a potion of healing, a scroll of silence, and a spell of Revify. So, um, a spell scroll of Revify. So let's start by creating those. So potions, we've got a potion of healing. Let's slap that out. That's going to be our item pile. All right, so we'll add everything else into this. We want to add some currency. Uh, 90 Electrum, because everybody loves Electrum. 120 Gold, which is significant. So we've added that in. Um, scroll Spell Scroll of Silence. Now remember, if we go to the SRD and we go to Spells and we find Silence, if we just drag that across, it becomes a scroll automatically, which is just beautiful. Love that. And get out of it and one of revify as well so we've got electrum we've got gold potion of healing spell scroll of silence and spell scroll of revify um, let's uh configure this um they want it to be a container which you know whatever doesn't have to be we don't want to don't want kitchenware containers let's make it a box um Let's make it a green gift box. Oh, come on. And we'll just paste them all in there. I'm really not bothered um, about... There we go. Da -da. And we'll hide it. Okay. Um, I'm going to call it nest stash just so it's got something doesn't matter brilliant update that all good job done so again they're gonna to have to climb up to find that uh, I might just stick it stick it there okay uh, what's the chance that they're gonna do that it's probably quite small probably quite small but there we go it's in there I don't need to drop those things back into the uh, into the description over here we've got the, the, the check-in but because we've got that as a stash it's just done easy peasy um, now what invariably happens is once they realize there's something horrible in this room uh, the players smart play well maybe not smart because <laughs> it doesn't always work out players often figure that they can use whatever the hideous beast is in here to help them fight the rest of the castle if they find it early enough so invariably I find people um, opening the door and then legging it <laughs> and just setting the growl free. Uh, and in the last time I ran this, which is a, a game I'm still running at the moment, they've only just finished this bit, uh, they actually managed to release the growl that went a bit nuts um, and, and actually ended up attacking King Growl himself uh, and made their life a lot, lot easier very happy to let players get away with stuff like that if they're using their smarts um but if they mess up and they get trapped by it well yeah they pay that consequence as well um because why wouldn't you all right so we've got that um that's all sorted so we've got the last section here that's it really um which is the king's quarters so we've got a few bits to do in here first of all 
Um, let's do the copy and pasty excitement uh, for this. I'm going to put their description in. And this is possibly the most interesting room in here. It's where there is most likely to be some actual role play rather than just kicking the crap out of everything. Um, and not uh, that's, a, that's a bit unfair, really, because um, not all groups work like that. Um, it's why I like having people like Yeg here, uh, because he's a good role-playing opportunity. Uh, we've also got Lupo, uh, another good role-playing opportunity if we choose to do that well. Um, obviously, they can try and role play with any of these but invariably language becomes a barrier okay right stop chuntering king Grohl. so first of all king Grohl, chuck you in there thank you very much is a fierce old bugbear he rules the cragmores through pure intimidation his foe is streaked with gray his shoulders are stooped and he wears a set of jeweled silver teeth over his own rotting fangs he's agile and strong demanding vin uh, demanding and vindictives vindictive. Uh, Grohl is attended by his pet direwolf named Snarl. So we don't have a direwolf yet. Let's grab uh, monsters. Thank you. Now, for any of you who've played this module before, if you've played the um, Fandelva, the original module, before they updated it for the Shattered Obelisk, um, this was just a normal wolf. There's so many things that they've pumped up. It's for the same levels, but they made it significantly harder. Grohl is tougher. He's now got a dire wolf rather than a normal wolf. And it all gets a bit all gets a bit tricky. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> uh, right. So um let's stick you in there. Named Snarl. So let's um let's chuck the dire wolf in here. Uh, and I'm going to rename this snarl if i can spell it correctly that's all good um apart from that it's a norm normal normal wolf. okay so we've got snarl in there who's huge um <clears throat> and a special guest so this is a doppelganger disguised as a drow woman so uh what i want then is i need a doppelganger Shove it over here in my monsters. Hang on a minute. Yeah, you should be you should be in the monstrosities. Thank you. Uh, and direwolf is just a beast. Yep. Going to upset people by <laughs> stuffing up my thing. Uh, anything else I've done really bad here? No, that's all fine. <laughs> Right, monstrosity folder. Thank you very much. Okay, so this, uh, yeah, doppelganger. So I want to edit this doppelganger. Now, have I got, again, I'm fairly sure I have. It's a case of where did I pop it? So please bear with me a moment. Uh, because I'm fairly sure I already have a downloaded picture for when I did this before. I might have to edit this bit because how boring for you guys watching me.
I don't have a suitable picture for the drow. I thought I did. Um, <clears throat> so uh, I'm going to just dump this on as it is and knowing that I have to come back and update that token. Okay, so sorry for that weird interlude that you just had. Let's shove this doppelganger out here. What I do know is I do need to definitely rename this doppelganger. Um, name of Virith. Okay, so we can put the Virith out. I was sure, I'm, I think I'm going mad. I'm sure I had Virith somewhere. And I'm wondering, yeah, obviously I haven't. I'll stop looking. Leave it alone. Stop it. Um, <clears throat> okay, so Grohl is attended by his pet direwolf, Snarl, and a special guest, a doppelganger disguised as a drow woman. The unconscious Gundren lies nearby. Not in my game, he doesn't. Um, so, uh, did I have a got Gundren? <sighs> Again, there's so many that I think I've got, and I've actually done them for... Um, for different purposes in different places for example for above vtt where i've run it there um, and i know i've had gundrum um yeah i'm again i'm sure i had a gundrum I, I don't have a gundrum i need to stop looking um let's close my monsters it's definitely not in merchants uh, it's definitely not in players because that would make sense i've got nundro but not gundrum um not in there not in there okay that's fine so i'm going to just drag one of these out any one of these uh preferably a human um and then we're going to create gundren oh but don't do that what i need to do is i need to uh duplicate thank you very much uh, and then we're going to edit this one and this is going to be gundren rock seeker because that is his name uh, I definitely want to update this picture and I know I I don't want to do that did I I want to find my picture of Gundren uh, is he in here there's a picture of Gundren that one will do for the moment absolutely get rid of that in the background um, we can get rid of that bring Gundren over uh, and position him better okay that will do for now. Uh, obviously, I, I could update his stat block and stuff, but it doesn't actually matter um, because he's not supposed to do any kind of combat whatsoever. But we now have Gundren. Now, um, what I do with Gundren, Gundren's in here. I don't have Gundren hanging out in the... Um, yeah, in the bathtub. Thank you very much. Uh, I don't have him hanging around in here. He's locked in this room. This door is locked. Uh, now, normally the characters would go in there going, ooh, treasure. That's what they're after. Um, they're going to have him incapacitated. Um, and, of course, prone because of that as well. Um, so he is unconscious, locked up, whatever, which is fine. So I like to put him in there. So and it does say the unconscious Gundren there uh, lies nearby. He doesn't. He's in that other room, the doppelganger. Um, is a messenger from the spider come to re uh, to transport Gundren Rotseeker and the map to Wave Echo Cave. Grohl wants to sell the map instead, etc, etc, etc. I don't worry about too much about this because it tends to go to hell. <laughs> anyway, as soon as the characters burst in, um, oh, I'm missing somebody really, 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 really important in here. Where is King Grohl? Thank you very much. We need King Grohl in here. Um, and in fact, I just want to update this to make sure this says King Grohl. Because he, he's a big bad. Um, so, yeah, normally what happens, once the players come in here, King Grohl shouts something quite offensive in the general direction of the players about, what well, you know, what the hell are you doing here? And it all kicks off. Now, depending on the party, depending how well they've done to this point, will determine for me whether um, Virith the uh the doppelganger actually gets involved or not now normally unless it's going very very badly for the um um well unless it's going very very badly for Grohl, she won't join in she will actually just talk her way out of it at the end 
um, and have nothing to do with it. And that has worked a couple of times, which is bizarre. But what you need to bear in mind is doppelgangers are pretty tough. So if your party is already struggling against Grohl and the Direwolf, which they might be, and they might have other attachments like the Hobgoblins, and they might have the Grell to deal with, um, it could go very badly for them very, very quickly. So I use um, Virith to stay back, not get involved in the combat, unless the players are clearly winning easily, in which case then she will get involved from a point of view of saving her own life. Otherwise, she'll totally stay out of it and go, oh, nothing to do with me, Gov. I'm just here as a messenger uh, and we'll talk a way out of it as best we can. Um, so the arrow slits. The arrow slits are here 15 foot above the ground outside uh, and creatures here aren't, uh, aren't keeping watch. They're unlikely to notice intruders moving around. Now, again, when we looked at our walls, these are ones that I kind of blocked off because I don't want my players, ideally... Um, just walking around the outside and going, oh, look, <laughs> there he is. Let's go get him. It's another reason for putting Gundren in a side room. I just think it makes more sense that that's going to be his like his little prison cell. Grohl is not intending to hand over Gundren until the negotiations are finished. Um, so keep him locked in that side room. And guarantee the players, once they've dealt with, Gro with King Grohl, They'll be thinking, we finished this. There's a locked door. They'll be able to see roughly how big that is. They are going to be thinking that's the treasure room, if nothing else. Um, so it's very unlikely they will just walk off and leave it. Okay, arrow slits. Don't need to worry about that. Um, now this talks about that northwest room. Partially collapsed chamber. Once a comfortable bathroom. Still contains a large, uh, large tub. Unused by the castle's current occupants except that's where I put Gundrum. Um, I put Gundrum in the bath. That's where they've laid him. Lovely jubbly. Uh, right, good. Do I actually need to update any of this? No, I'm happy with it as it is. I know it's not necessarily aligned with what I've said, but to be honest, I might be reading that, but I'm not going to be reading that when the players are actually in action. I don't have time for that unless I quickly need to reference something. With this room, I know exactly what's going to happen. Um, or rather, what Virilith and what King Grohl are planning to do. Um, obviously, they will react to the players. So, uh, what else have we got to do? Is there any lighting and stuff we want to do in here? Um, again, we've got global lighting. I haven't made the whole place dark because most of it's got missing roofs. We've got the working trap. We've got hidden monsters. Um, two of them in fact we've got uh, all of our doors and windows done we have played with curtains we've got yep, all of the monsters and everything done I'm I'm happy apart from Virilith where I need to find that um, uh, that female drow image to use um, as a token apart from that and I'm going to do that in a moment off camera um, I think this is good and ready to go. What that means is we have finished chapter three. Um, I still want to, and I haven't done that yet either, is get some background noises. So a, I'm going to write this down or otherwise I won't do it because I'll forget. So I need the female drow. Uh, and goblin noises see what I can find. Thank you for watching guys. Um, I hope this has been interesting. I know these videos aren't as popular as the, the ones where we're looking at add-ons and things like that but that's absolutely fine. You watch whatever works for you. Um, but if you are watching please do remember to leave likes um, and if you're not subscribed please do so. It really does help the channel. The more likes we get, the more subscriptions we get, um, the more encouraged I am to carry on doing this. Um, and putting these things together and especially on the tricky bits where we get stuck how much brain energy um, I feel in the mood to put into fixing things <laughs> cheers guys you take care and I haven't quite gone yet so uh, just before I end the video uh, I've just jumped in to um, uh, into discord and using that mid journey i've created a uh, female elf there so Verith ha now has a proper image 
um, and I've updated her token as well. Uh, so even though she's a doppelganger, that's what she looks like normally. Gotta love Mid Journey for just doing that, been able to whack those images together. However, uh, I've not been successful in trying to find... I can find some individual goblin noises and things like that that are pretty terrible, to be honest, a lot of them. Um, anybody's got source for background kind of party noises that we can use? In here, just general kind of chit-chatter and stuff for goblins would be really useful. If anybody knows where I can find one, uh, obviously free to use that's the that's the key now if we can't find one it's not the end of the world it's a nice bit of atmosphere but it, it doesn't break anything it, it really doesn't matter that much you wouldn't have that if you were doing you know tabletop face to face most people in vtts don't have that um, but yeah if anybody knows where i might be able to get that um, if you've already got one um, or you want to do my research for me <laughs> Yeah, if you know if you've got some ideas of where to look for these things that would be really really useful um happy to nab those um and, and just install those and you can have a direct contribution how about that that's my way of getting you to do my work for me and pretending there's something in it for you uh right that's it definitely going to end this video now and uh, i will see you in the next one cheers guys bye bye